Good evening! My name is TF2 Public Ferret and TF2 Public Ferret Server Prime and today we're playing in FSG, FS Gunt 2 underscore A2. So yes, uh, this is a new map. This is using a lot of the assets from the, um, what update? The uh, frontline update, well not update as such, but the frontline pack. Now the problem is Red Team has spawned into the game and immediately got lost. Um, Okay, follow the tracks. That's where the cart is. Um, the obvious things. Seriously, guys. Come on. Oh, boy. And I'm getting some real laggy fields here. Not sure what's going on. Uh, now, in any case, half a minute left. People are kind of turning up. Uh, it's looking good. So, one of the, uh, Is that a crate falling from the sky? Oh, my God. There's a crate fell out of the sky. I haven't seen that yet. And, yeah, we've got a nice little tank. And there's a jeep. Oh, that was amazing though, just a crate from the sky, I was like, oh, it's so lovely. Okay, doors open, and Peridot immediately decides to run, I love the fact, never play this map, we'll run somewhere. Okay, now, Dr. Dewey on the cart, the new improved cart, and Red Team is holding everything for the moment. Oh, careful of the giant water wheel, by the way. That may kill you. Okay, so Peridot is doing his thing as scout. And, okay. Now, it looks like for the moment that blue team is... Okay, they finally got onto the cart. Okay. Now, how is this going on here? 3 minutes 46. And the cart is moving into a... I was also expecting some windmill action to be in the update, some or in the uh, package at some point. Do I call it like a um, update, or do I call it uh, what? What do I call it? Do I call it the frontline update, or do I call it the frontline? I know. Frontline patch, frontline add-on. Now, okay, three minutes, three one, and blue team. I've uh, got to their first point. Now, to be fair, this is. Um, it's pretty much, to be fair, blue, blue team will win this hard for the first few times on the basis that they are going to, um, what's it, you know, they're going to know the lay of the land here, so, you know, it's not really their problem. Well, actually, but red team on the hand needs to know where defensive positions are, so, you know, this is a pro that's what that, that's what they're going to have to cope with, and both there is building a sentry, trying to cope with the sheer amount of firepower blue is throwing at them. Dr. Dewey there is not letting go of that car and has now finally been stopped. Now, 8 minutes of 9. And Scrape there is trying to push the car in. Now, Red Team knows where the car is. They have a spawn. Spawn's actually facing outwards away. From, you know, doors are a bit far away, so it's hard to spawn camp them. And at the same time, they're a bit far away from the car, so that you can't really just go straight onto the cart like some games. I mean, try the I mean, what games are like that? I mean, what levels have, like, pretty much doors that I mean, open straight onto the point? Oh, by the way, this is a uh, three-stage map. This is a Gold Rush-style map, so we're good. Uh, don't worry, there's two more things to go after. This, is it. this isn't it. There's more to it. And Stage 3, oh, there's some fun stuff you're going to find in Stage 3. This is actual gameplay changing stuff on Stage 3. Only a little bit of gameplay change, but still fun. Oh, shit, I forgot to turn for voice. Unprofessionalism. Oh. Okay, back in commentary mode. I f Nobody was talking at the first part of the pre-game, so I was like, oh, I forgot. Actually, I'm still in, I'm still still in like, thingy mode. Now, in any case, Deep Fry there is trying to push the cart in. And the cart is getting close to the point. Red Team is just about holding this. Bath has a new sentry up trying to cope, but the problem is though, blue team are just going to flank right. Uh, there's a nice little kind of house up there. Also, I'm going to be honest, I had a look around this map before earlier today, and there are a lot of nice little locations. And Tom, trying to push the car in, Zydran, going for it, gets gang raped by medics, and and, oh, Tom trying to push it in, Port Ponky's in there too, Dr. Dewey's there as well. Red team are holding this point. Oh boy, though, this is going to be pretty tight at the moment. Now, six minutes on the clock here. Red Team want to try and keep Blue away from the cart and let it roll back. Uh, 
And my poison for today is Stolich Naya Vodka. Hmm, nice. I can't save you a slot, I'm afraid. Um, I'm afraid that's not how it works here. Uh, I don't really... I can't really change slots on the fly. In any case, five minutes on the clock. Red team are holding, although one man with a stick pushes the cart to victory. And who was that guy? Pendulum, you should have just stood on the cart and stopped him from moving, not fired at the cart hoping to kill him. <laughs> okay, um, game one, round two, and we're now on the second stage of the map. Um... What do you guys think it's so far? I mean, I think the thing is, we if I was to compare this to some of, like, this is a Flower Shop guy's map, by the way. If we compare it to Steel, I think it's got a lot of nice flank routes, a lot of little engineer export areas, but it's not got the crampedness. It's a lot more open air, so it's not so, it's not so hoodoo-esque, if I should say. You know, it's a bit ugly, because it's still got all the things around, but I think it's got potential. I think it's got real potential, this map. And there's some lovely, like, flanky corridors and stuff. I mean... In terms of spies and maybe backburner pyros, this should be an interesting one. Well, hey, Mad Medic, if you want to get in, man, the uh, IP's right there. Just copy down the IP address from the Twitch and just join the server. You go to basically your uh, console in game, connect the IP address, press enter, and you'll get in here. You may have to download this map. Oh, uh, well, it will download for you. Don't worry, I've sorted that out. Now, okay, door's open, and crit rockets bound. And lovely penetration from Peridot there. And back hunt there kind of gets gunned down unnecessarily. That's the sound of double penetration. Now, Cart is getting a move on. The thing is, there's some lovely nooks and crannies around here. I mean, there is some serious, serious potential for some art or engineering. I mean, uh, if you look around this map, there's like ledges, blind alleys. There are like little crook nooks and crannies which you can use, put a teleporter in there and make it work. Okay, now. Blue team's on the move up. They're doing well here. That's the first one there. Jesus, I got here finally. I had to download a ton of shit. Also, keep an eye out. Did you guys see the uh, tank cannon fire in the first stage? That's kind of fun. Now, in any case, the red team is suffering very heavily. Although we, we aren't seeing many engineers, though. When anything won, you know, you just joined. That might be a problem. But as I said before, though, I can't save slots for you, craft tech. I don't have the admin. I don't know how to do that on the fly. <laughs> Why do people think I'm sort of admin wizard? Because I just own a server. I can barely make things work half the time. In any case, though, as I said, though, blue team's gonna have an easy ride of this because they know exactly where to push and what to do. Red team doesn't know all the angles just yet. Uh, however, Zydran, on the other hand, bless his little pittance, he knows exactly what he's doing. <laughs> I love the fact that Red team spotted him and like, how do we get in? What do I do? Where is the in-hole? <laughs> They're really trying to figure out how to get there. I'm sorry, but it is quite... Okay, looks like sneezing like a ferret has found it. There goes the sentry. And Zydran is struggling and dies horribly. Oh my god. Oh jeez. I oh, I can't believe I just saw that. Zydran must be like thinking, how the fuck? <laughs> it's like just kills him off. Doesn't realise there's a teleporter right there. I'm not you literally walk past the teleporter and now they're just putting in troops all over the shop. You donut, who was that? I can't remember who it was. It was a demo man. Sneezing like a wire bash. How you missed a teleporter! It's glowy and shit! <laughs> Lovely shot from Tree Fiddy. Now, the problem is, Blue Team going to be holed up in there like bastards now, and you're not going to get them out. But Red Team, though, are still pushing up. The other thing is, Blue Team can still use a little side room 
uh, where uh, Scrape is actually. You can get a teleporter in there, and that's going to be a problem as well. There's a lovely couple of locations here for Blue Team Step teleporters. There goes Sneezing like a ferret. Thing is, though, Blue Team's keeping that area, though. They are really holding on to it. Now, the cart is becoming a problem. It's moving a little. Peridot is trying to explore the red areas. He does seem to have a bit of a problem at the moment, maybe with performance. 76 ping is a little high today. Yep. Ooh, them crit bullets there from Pendulum. Trying to get hits in, takes down 350. Oh, Bath there trying to get in the saps in, and I think he'd. Oh! Nope. Zydran is keeping that thing up. The salt must flow. And it looks like they lost that sentry. Oh, God, the. Sonic is just moving in there, trying to burn everything out of existence. And I think there goes the point, and Blue Team take the area. Okay, game one, round three. Um, and we're now on the final stage where the special super secret gameplay stuff is found. I say secret, you'll find it eventually. <laughs> extreme foreshadowing from extreme. Oh, God. Um. <laughs> yeah, this could be funny when people find... Oh, are people finding them? In Are people seconds. hitting the water wheel and dying like idiots? Stop hit! Stop falling down the hole, idiot! <laughs> anyway, let's get back to the front. <laughs> Ooh, extreme is like. Yes, they're very real, real working minds. Okay, doors open, and blue team moves out, and who was that? Bat, bat cunt there, trying to move, it. doing nicely, gets clobbered, deep fried monkeys on the move, and Balth got destroyed by walking onto a mine. <laughs> you actually walked onto a mine. <laughs> but blue team is moving up though. Yeah, there's mines, there's one right next to you. And oh god, Mr. Spock accidentally was wandering near a mine and it blew up. Like, what is wrong with you guys? Why can't you clearly see the mines? There are mines? And Blue Team takes first point. I mean. To be honest, this is more of an exhibition match, more than a serious game today. People need to know the map and everything, to be fair. Oh, this is Flower Shop Guy, Autark. The guy who made Eclipse and Pride Rock. Ah, no wonder! <laughs> He didn't play this map earlier, he just didn't know here. I'm liking when it feels too open and then compared to Eclipse feels too closed. I'm like, god damn it. Now in any case, this can't move up nicely. But as I said though, the thing is though, people don't know the map and Blue Team always has a natural advantage when it comes to exploring a new map with a car. Because it's a lot easier to simply push the car and know where you're going. Now in any case, looks like we need to come in final points and blue team's pushing that over there we go nice reflect from Benny boy there hmm, there's a house thingy up here oh right that's where you look over 
There's a lovely little teleport. There are so many lovely little teleport rooms for blue. Our ears moving up. Sonicy there. Oh, nice work. Lovely stabbings. Oh, Tommy or Tark, because you've got nowhere to go. And I think he's getting hassled into a corner. And gang rape is happening somehow somehow. And Autark survives. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, okay, that's, that's true, Deep Fried Monkey. But it is reminiscent of, uh, I would say, Gold Rush, where you own on the third stage, you do need to come all the way back from start spawn. Maybe's map is a little larger, but the principle still re um, remains that you do need a forward teleporter. So, where's Zydran? Ah, he found the room I was talking about. Excellent. Now Zydran is currently fixing the problem. Yeah, he did find it. He wasn't here before. Now, okay, 7 minutes 15 and Red Team are trying to establish a defensive line. Ortuck, did you die from the giant wheel? Did you fall into the pit? You fell into you no know, you fell off the cliff, didn't you? Yep, there you are. Why did you go that way? There's like nothing there. And Port Ponky, can he cap it? And watch the little cannon when it fires. Nope. Oh, we got too cocky there. And you guys are too close to the edge there. You might just fall into the pit. There goes Purry Dot. Now, six minutes away. Also, there's a lovely uh, teleport area which Red can use, or maybe Blue can get to if they can. Peridot's right in there right now. Oh, nearly, nearly had a good, good go there, Peridot. But Red Team are holding on, though. God, don't you hate when tea coasters like sit on sit underneath your glass and just fall off and make you jump? Ah man, my god. 5.45. Now, red team can I uh, yes the cut is rolling back. However, Tom though is moving in. Pan mode engaged. And takes him down. Can he cap this? Oh, can he do it? And but look at watch the little cannon. Yay, it fired. <laughs> okay, uh game two, round one, and then so far Dr. Dwevy there is doing on two two doms, deep fries on two doms. Nobody's really pushing out ahead right now. Now in any case. Uh. Will the previous blue team know where to set up defences? Do they have defences? Do they even have engineers? Well, they have Zydran. That's something. Mission begins in 30 seconds. Hmm, I can see that work in there for Zydran. Although, maybe there's some other interior building areas you can use. Also, there's a lovely uh, picture of a... There's also a lovely, uh, like, thing of a boat outside on the areas. Like, actually, if you're behind the windmill area, if you set up, like, a lovely teleporter uh, nest thingy there, it makes it a lot hard for Blue Team to get around you. Also, nobody realises there's an exit door right there where Pendulum is. And Deep Fried Monkey destroying everybody in the local area. Now what's happening, well, there's Dr. Dwebby there with Indifidulum, Indifidulum, sorry. L oh, no. Nope. Thought it was a stab from Tom there. Nope, it wasn't. Now, blue team is getting out there. Peridot is having to skedaddle. Skedaddle a lot. Uh, he put himself right in the middle of the... Now he can escape.
Oh, no. Fourier found him. It was a desperate position for him, but he made it work. Also, you could actually snipe through the windmill area. I mean, that'd be funny as fuck if you just shoot the windmill blade. Is it a blade or is it an arm? Answer on the postcard, please. Okay, now. 3 minutes 18. And the car is moving up. And do we have any? No, no, we have three doms. And Blue Team's moving up nicely. Screw you guys, I'm gonna have fun. Oh shit. And okay, flag goes down. Uh, becomes blue. And does it rise up again? There it goes. And right now, Blue Team is on the push. Pinky, nice to have Pinky back as well. Thanks for coming back, man. And the push is on. And Tom's stabbing like a motherfucker. Eight minutes on the clock. Now, Red Team is wondering where the hell they can put sentries down and things like that. Also, like these big bulky tanks that they have in... They kind of look like a... They look like an M5 Stuart, but just even bigger. Um, if you know what I mean. You're saying it's very spawn camp. There's two doors on either side. I mean, it's not that easy to spawn camp. And by the time they get there, they should push the cart up by then. It's not a sideshow area. Scrape there, defending the right hand flank like a champ. Now. And from the looks at. Oh, cart's nearly there. Big Bear 02 playing Blue Engineer. It's good. Is it going to work? Unfortunately, Dr. Dwevy there is. Nope, destroyed. Nobody was using the teleport for some reason. What's wrong with Demo Knight? Like, what is actually wrong with Demo Knight? Is it because they basically get catch up to you so you can't run away and they're in your face and you can't do anything about it? That's the thing I like about them, you can't evade the Demo Knight. It will just be on you in seconds. You have to deal with it there and then. Grab a bottle and hit him in the face! Just use your primal doom instincts and just kill everything in a blaze of glory. Rat, do you want to get banned? Right, stop with that then. I'm making <laughs> demo nighting. Make game less fun for the other team. Wow. You're going you're gonna to hurt me in the morale. Okay, here comes the manual cunt. And he's moving in. Lovely stab from Tom there. Not getting the medics, though. The blue team is up there. Five, four, three, two, one deep prize on four and working with that. I'm not sure if it's the crown for the week so far, but I think he's actually equaling it. Lovely stuff from Pinky there, and the cart's moved in and fires its shot and destroys little barrels there. Hoping for a bigger explosion later. Yeah, it does shoot stomach. It, was right, it did it right then. Okay, game to round two. Now I think I am seeing though we're not seeing much use of the flank routes. That's always it's always like initial criticism from a map because people don't know where to go. Some people have natural ferreting instincts and know exactly how to get around the sides. If you can do that, it's great. I mean, if you know, like, what's on this side? Oh, there's a tunnel here. That kind of thing. You need to use those. Now, in any case, um, now I think it's blue team. They could take a right-handed offensive, and there's a little hole down there which allows them to get beyond. Uh, the point. We'll get up to the point. So there's a nice little shortcut there. If you got the ramp, there's a nice little secluded area. You get a sentry going and maybe a teleporter. And it's not easy to come back from it. If you go on the left-hand side, there's a, there's a house route where you can kind of go around the side of the game. And it's a lot of indoor stuff from there. So, you know, use the flank routes. If you're getting stuck, flank.
I'm really sorry. Um, it's just uh, I, uh, a couple of people who have problems. You do need to have downloading. I mean, I will maybe provide I don't know a link somewhere or something, in maybe later. But yeah, FS. It is pretty much the search of FS FS gun A2 A2, and should be on TF2 maps. It's not too hard to find. A little tricky though. Endless sky. Now this is what we're seeing here. Now, Peridot got a lovely, lovely dispenser built, but no teleporter that I can see. Now if he gets a teleporter up, that's going to be a massive advantage to him. But unfortunately, now he is kind of suffering from dead sentry syndrome. But right now, un who is that? Un underrated. A sc scrape is doing a lovely job of defending the area right now. Although he is having to deal with nearly pretty much everything. Um, there's a lot of everything to try and hold out with here. Peridot is doing as best he can in the doorway. Nope, there he goes. Uh, now, how is the rest of the red team holding out? Well, they still have Deep Fried Monkey, and he's also doing a fantastic job. The thing is, though, they're pinky. And he's just going in there, destroying everything in sight. Uh, maybe blue, red, blue team, red team needs a. Uh, well, they had scrape, and he was doing a fantastic job of holding out. But as soon as he died, team was going to suddenly go down. And okay, first first point is taken. Thing is, I do find that maps are tending to be larger in the alpha. Oh, five, four, three, two, one. Deep fries on five doms. The thing is, though, uh, I think it might be front line. I think it's based on that like, Second World War theme. But yeah, the reason why the maps I think are bigger is because when you get later in the game, you see what happened. Um, what I saw from Eclipse as its first development is they got consecutively smaller and smaller. So I think that's a natural thing of being an alpha map. It's large, and then everything gets put into place, and then it's made smaller. So that's the natural flow of these things. To be honest, I don't know what the art. I don't really. Ha I am really quite a novice in the art of map making. I don't know how it works. The only thing I do would say though is this uh, last bend here does remind me a lot of uh, Eclipse. Kind of ledge over there. There's the point over there, and there's a way to get right around the side, and that looks at like the main doors. Um, have you lost a sentry again, deep fried? Right there. The thing is, Red Team, on the other hand, they haven't been seizing the building across their spawn. If they got that building and stopped Blue Team from getting in, they'd be in a much better position. There's actually a lovely little uh, NG nest right there. It's a nice little tight corner they could use, and it's really hard to get to. I mean, Tom's standing it right now. Put a sentry in there, that'd be great. And Pinky there, getting around the sides. Hello, sentry. The thing is, blue team though they've managed to get up and around there. Um, they actually, no. To be fair, the blue team have a way of getting in that area, but the red team needs to counter it. The thing is, um, Extreme FT learning from Zydran, putting things in the same place, and it's working. You've got to set that other side of the building. If you don't, you kind of lose control of the area. You can't just keep like the inside track. You've got to get the outside one too. There's red team. They're trying to counter it, but they can't get in properly. Uh, they're going to have to try and jump up the area there. Um, okay, Scrape's got in. Oh god! And Wheaties dies horribly to overexposure to Heavy. Oh, nice work. Takes down Sentry. Can he? Oh, Deep Fry. Oh, Deep Fry. Oh no! He nearly got the teleporter! So close! And Bath clobbers him right at the last second. Why didn't Team go with him? I thought there would be somebody behind him. And sneezing like a ferret, trying to cope. The problem is Zydran is using the Natasha, not so effective at this range. Or not so effective overall, really, but... The thing is, we're seeing Red Team trying to get in there, but Blue Team's already there, and Red Team's not really helping themselves out.
Now, in any case, 5 minutes 43. Tom trying for stabs. Gets one on Endless Sky, but I don't think it's enough now. Blue team are all over that car. And... Yeah, Okay, game three, round, uh, game two, round three. Now, yeah, it does seem as if the teleporters, the thing with this is a bigger map, and I think teleporters really make up for this. The thing is with the second map, you've got to keep those houses. If you don't stay in those houses and keep them out of the, those parts, you have a real problem in terms of the enemy just outflanks you horribly. So you do need to take those. If you all went the wrong way, oh, maybe there's not a signpost in an alpha map. Now, watch out for mines. There goes Scrape. The mines are shootable as well. They respawn very quickly though. They explode if you jump them. Doors open. I mean, where Nyx is right now, that's a lovely engineering place. There goes uh, Deep Fried's uh, dispenser. Deep Fried dispenser. Um, thing is, people don't seem to like put all their stuff in nice, tactically advantageous areas like on top of cliffs and things. They keep putting them, like, on floors and somewhere you can actually get to them. Tom, did you run on a landmine? Yes, you did, didn't you? <laughs> oh, God, that's hilarious. I would love to see if like, a Demonite charges on a mine and just blows up. I think we mines on every level. Sneezing like a ferret doing mine clearing duties. Making sure no we land on the insidious landmines. Thought Bonky gets him though. And that cart there has nearly moved up. One thing I would suggest to possibly uh Foul Shop guy. Uh, yes they do respawn. More landmines. Please more landmines. I would just like them peppered here and there. And it would just be a nice new gameplay feature. I know there's only like four or five of them in the map at the moment. Drive the Jeep. I think I could take a lot of coding to drive a Jeep. That's not really map design, that's game. Now, okay, so the blue team have taken the first point. Autox. Oh, wait, on. Five, four, three, two, one. Deep fries on six doms, and he's got the throne for this week as well so far. He's doing fantastico. Thing is, I want landmines to be a thing because I just want people to get punished for not noticing stuff. No. Ooh, nice shot from Sonic Edge. Clobber's weak, weeties. And blue team is on the move up. That's an uh, interesting century there from uh, Deep Fried Monk, Deep Fried Monkey. I'm trying to think what strategically viable locations there are. Now, the thing is, blue team's got a naturally right flanky side there. Uh, so they can get in around the sides. Actually, to be fair, red team, if they don't keep an eye on their left hand flank, they're going to get butt raped. I mean, there's a nice hole down here for spice to just come down out of. And. People getting straight to spawn and stuff like that, so there's a lot of things that you know blue team can do to be a pain in the ass. Also, I kind of want to know what kind of landscape this is because you see this overhead stuff. Is that like a rock formation? Maybe there should be like caves. You know, I don't know some sort of caves with ammo packs and stuff around. Now, from the looks at red team, might for the first time in this commentary, might be holding. Maybe. Although, from the looks at red team, is leading a uh, left handed offensive. <laughs> oh, 
Oh dear. Cart is moving back. Manual Kant trying to dodge all the nades. Dies from a sentry. Tom there trying to insurance for Wheaties but kind of misses the stab. And scrape there with the Uber, moving moving on through. Nice work there, Can Now, Red Team is pushing the unclean hordes back. Um, Blue Team are having a bit of a rough time. They are kind of flanking, but then at the same time they're flanking and then they're getting pushed back. There's a lot going on here. Nobody's not entirely sure where the front line is. <laughs> now, okay, so here comes Blue Team. Oh, wow. And somebody got punished there for pushing the cart. Five, four, three, two, one. Deep fight on seven. Nicely done. Oh man, people are just dying left, right, and centre. I mean, you're breaking with some handy snipers here and there. Hang on, Pinky there doing the old sap and run around bit. Can deep fight fix all this, save all this stuff? I think he just did. And here goes Scrape again. All oh, the crits. Oh boy. Because he knows where to place stuff. Unfortunately, he just did get stabbed recently from the looks of it. And his stuff's getting all going down. Lovely work there. So he took out a teleporter. Now, I reckon the blue team, a ninja near. Getting into the upper right hand side areas and possibly doing something up there if possible. Or you go to the water wheel and make something in there. There's a couple of. There is a room you could use. It's a bit tricky to get to, but there is a way of like. Bat capperying. Now, Blue Team are having a hard time pushing up here. Now, what would I recommend? Well, there is one firm. Gunja there, arguably the best guy on his team for the reason of being the only goddamn medic. How many soldiers does Blue Team have? I like it, but goddamn, that's like five, six soldiers? Man, they are really just pushing their way through. And, f oh, waiting on. Five. You, did he have eight for a long enough time? I didn't see it enough. Uh, it's back down to six again, so I was, we're staying on seven. We're staying on seven. Okay, Sonicy there. Now, what does Blue Team need to do here? I think they need another medic. Well, actually, they've got one. So, okay, they, they've they've got the stuff. Now, all they need really is um, they've got some engineers as well. That's helping out get to the front. Now, I think the car has stayed in roughly the same place the entire time. I'm going to say it though, Scrape is the guy that's really carrying the team as well as Deep Fried. Scrape basically command, basically pushes these counter offences which just keep Blue Team away from the car. Ideally you're going to need to spy on that guy, get just stabbed down Scrape and I think you have a lot of your problems fixed. And Craft Tech makes it back in. Uh, un, un, underrated. SKR APE. Did somebody hit a landmine? Now, in any case. Now, Blue Team needs to summon up an Uber here. They're running out of time. Full fat Uber. Is that a crits Krieg? Because I think that's the problem. You need to be able to deal with the sentry. You can't just run any crits Krieg and try and crit down the sentry. Red team is just holding right now. They're doing a fantastic job. To be honest, did you deep fry doing so well? That that dispenser is in such a handy location. S 
Scrape is there. He got blasted this time. That counter fence didn't work. Tom is Ubering a scout. The desperation is real. Craft tech, didn't you know about the land you didn't you see the landmine? Oh I can't believe you have nobody there and you just ran into a landmine. <laughs> haven't been you've been watching it long enough though. And you know what landmines look like? Oh dear god. Five FPS. We <laughs> wanted to swagger into Blue Horn. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, that's some delicious salt right there. Couldn't you wait to zero point saying we're swaggering into Blue Horn? Oh, just swaggering. Oh, uh, okay, five minutes on the clock here, and Red Team is just disastrously caving in now. Like a man with a shovel in the head. Four minutes, 42. Can Red Team hold? Will it blend? Blessed be medics who put up with ass assholes or stupid idiots on their own team. Also engineers. But blessed be them for, like, providing speedy equipment to get to the front. Now, let's see what's going on around here. Now, Emmanuel Cunt, they're trying to get close. Nope, Deep Fried is once more carrying the team. Now, Blue Team does need a teleporter, to be fair. They need to get closer. Ah, I see, I see. You put them both in the same place, which means if one person finds it, they'll destroy both of them, and you'll be doubly buggered. There we go. That's good. That's being a sensible extreme. You might put on the right-hand flank or something, if you can. Dr. Devi Drevi there, just getting out of dodge. Yep. Keep going. Keep going. There's room to your, room to your left. There you go. Now, ah, my prediction came true. Now, thanks, thanks to that, moving the teleporter may have saved Blue Team a little bit here because now they still have a second teleporter to work with. Now their first, you know, don't make a level six teleporter. You don't need like that. You seldom seen much. Uh oh, oh no, no, oh god, and oh Jesus, why? <laughs> Brat, did you try to kill somebody using the rocket jumper? To be fair, I know you came out of a spawn and you were a little bit panicked. I can I kinda kinda forgive you for that, to be fair. It's like, oh fuck, I'm on fire. <laughs> Thanks, Med for ignoring me. <laughs> what is the salt rating for today? I think we're hitting a good eight already. I I say already, we've been fifty minutes in so far on this commentary. Don't you remember Port Ponky? You was blue. You was blue team beforehand. Just you know, remember the map backwards. Maybe. Do you remember Stone Troopers? Yeah, I remember Stone Troopers. Not this Stone Troopers. Oh God, I laughed so hard when that happened. Why does this game break so easily? <laughs> I, I, I'm loving the sheer combination of desperation, salt, apathy, and anger. Oh god, it's like it's like a shitty relationship drama.
Now, okay, 1 minute 20. Blue team needs to put ultimate effort into this. And red team's making it offensive. Blue team's counter offensive and assuming direct control. Where did the medic go? Yawning like a ferret just pisses off with an Uber. Why does this how how does this happen? Yay! FYI I'm a spy! So you got healed and then stabbed the medic that was healing you. Yay! Give me a sandwich whilst I'm healing you, please. Selfish green. Oh my god. Uh, I, I think the salt is going to nine. 22 seconds left. I don't think Blue's getting this anymore. Fourier is trying his best to hold up the entire game by himself. But there's something seriously wrong here with everything. Next on four jobs. It's not going to be seven, though. And I think blue, red's got this. Assuming direct control, tries to push the cart. Fails to push the cart. Lovely stab from Tree Philly. Stops any more overtime from happening. And Emmanuel Cunt gets a nice little achievement for with friends like these. Nicely done. Okay, game three, round one. And okay, I'm just going to say... Why should I say that game two? Proper game two, Nick. Oh, fuck it, game three. So, you guys have now had a chance to be blue and red. Uh, what's your opinion on the map? Do you like it? Is it nice? Okay, we're going with a lot of okays. Okay. First two, I might give you that. They might be hard to defend, but I also think there's a bit of a map knowledge thing coming in here. Because, as I said, defending on a cart push map for a first time on a map you don't know is hard. Because you don't know where the key to... It's the parachute! Oh, it's so precious. Um, it is a bit open. I'll give you that. It's a bit, maybe a bit too open, but I don't think it's too much of a problem. I mean, yeah, I, I want more mines. More mines, please. More mines in stupid areas. Okay, 4 minutes 20, and blue team's on the move. There goes Wheaties. And they call it a mine. Ah, oh. Reference. Hang on, is somebody civilianing here? Pinky, did you civilian up? Okay. Tom, they're trying to telecamp. Nope, not happening. Now, one thing we aren't seeing, people aren't using the like back end side of the map. I think I hope you've been using more. You might they might need something a bit more harsher to use to go around here. Maybe like if you want a mine belt in between the first between the points. The uh, first point and the start. Maybe something to make them go around the sides, but maybe we're not seeing enough sentry power. I don't know. Now in any case. 8 minutes 45, blue team. I will say one thing though, I think the time's a little bit too easy for blue team at the start of the game. They seem to have an easy time just moving into place. Hello, Clever K. Feel free to join the server, man. Uh, we have one slot left. If you follow the IP address, go to the TF2, connect that IP, you should be able to join the server. We are, we've got one more kind of round to go, so at the end of this, we'll uh, be finishing up. Wow, okay, the spawns are a little bit uh, one-sided, perhaps. I guess that car is moving up. Now, the giant water wheel of doom is in the, is in the way. Now, blue team, now... They can try to flank here. If they take the right, their right flank, they've got a small little building they could try and put something in. It's a bit tricky. Left flank, on the other hand, a lot more promising. But red team, 
Red team are actually now holding up their right flank, so they are doing a much better job of defending this now. Oh my god, Peridot, I'm now immediately hungry because you saying water wheels, now I'm around here, wagon wheels. Oh god damn, I could kill I could kill for a wagon wheel right now. Oh man. Oh, that sounds amazing. Thanks, asshole. <laughs> a wagon wheel was, uh, if you're in the UK, it was basically this uh, really, really round, biscuity cake thing with a marshmallow interior. Oh, it was lovely. Oh, God. Are they, wait, do they sell wagon wheels anymore? Um, where? I, I don't. I can't find any around my area. Oh, man. I, re I, I really want a wagon. Sainsbury's. Right, okay. Next time I go to Saints with my mum, the big one, where there's a lot of alcohol, I'm getting a combination of uh, what, rum, what is it, Wh I think it's whiskey, rum, and wagon wheels. Now, 6 minutes 18. <laughs> salt. I generate salt by myself, I don't need that. Oh, lovely, lovely work from Pinky there. Just clobbers Autark. I think he was about to kill Pinky, but the other guy got shot in the back as well. Now it's 5 minutes 53. Hina, I think, has found the special back... back oh, and using the back burner. Oh, boy. And Autark is fine. Okay, another one from Autark, they're just countering Hina. But I think the thing is, Port Ponky's also found the special flank route. And Clobber's Autark. Oh! Is that a teleport? Nope. <laughs> Get destroyed. However, the Blue Team is nearing the win in the game here. Nez Flint and the Fidget Bomb taking this. And. A lot of Red Team members. Oh god! They're gonna stand on the cart. Stay on the cart. And nope, blue team takes it. Okay, game three, round two, and yeah, I will say the first map does seem a little bit easier towards the second point to attack. I know, to be fair, there are a lot of sandbag locations where you could possibly use sentries and whatnot. I am seeing, I don't think the sentries have been properly used yet. Okay, for red team, on the second point of this map, when you come out of spawn, and you're right around the corner, you should see some sandbags kind of tucked away in the corner. Now, if you put a sentry in there, that should be interesting. So it's kind of like a hairpin corner sentry, which would be quite nice for you. Sonic sentry, on the other hand, that is um, interesting. Is it really, though? I don't think it would be, though, because I, you can't easily get into range. You can't outrange it, and it's the approaches to it are quite easy to... You know. Doors open. Lovely penetration from Minardi there. Monkey, uh, the five monkey there trying to cope with the effects of Anuba. Uh, running the fuck away, leaving his medic to die. Oh, Doctor Dewey, them reflexes though, just knew there was a spy behind him. Lovely charge in there though, from who was that, I'm not sure, but... Doctor Dewey, try to stay alive with the power of urine. Now, from the looks at blue team are pushing on through. Remember, there's, there's a special hole you can go down. Um, that's great for a back burner pirate, that is, if you can get in there. Or put a sentry in there, that'd be great for blue. Oh my god, Zydran, are you seriously trying to ninja near that hard? You just like, bunny hopped your way through red team. Boy. Now, looks like the first point is going to go easy here for uh, blue team. 
Now, are people going to use the location I recommended? Are they? Okay, I'm liking this. Do it. Do it. Okay, give it a go. Although you might want to consider to actually pick up to put down a dispenser first or something. I think you're a bit new to this engineering malarkey, aren't you? Now I guess that car is still kind of moving over. And who's that in there? Another engineer room for blue there. He's yawning like a ferret. That's a lovely room in there for a blue, uh, blue team teleport. Where is Red Team right now? I seem half of them seem dead or in the wrong place. The problem with the sentry is actually it's it should do well, the problem is it's too small. And right now just like, Red Team just doesn't seem to be able to defend. Like at all. And Dr. Dewey there is just moving on through right now. This is ridiculous. Uh, blue team just kind of just cleaned up. There we go. Okay, game two, round three. And I think it's the uh, last round we have for today. Now remember, there are mines. And Deep Fried Monkey lands straight into one of them. And Pinky detonates it for him and Peridot at the same time. <laughs> you can't defuse the land, they just keep respawning, Minardi. You're not going to fix the landmines. Now, any case. Ooh, okay, I see what's going on here. Doors open, and. Tark, what are you up to? Oh god. Extreme, just, I think you land, actually jumped over a landmine. Not sure where you're doing it, actually. And then Monkey Bunner uh, is on a landmine and dies from that. <laughs> Peridot narrowly avoids the landmine. I'm loving the landmines. Unlucky Ortark gets killed by a shotgun blast trying to drink bonk. bonk. Now, it wasn't my fault you died. I didn't say your name until after you died. I want the soup. Okay, Bruce is moving up nicely. Very nicely. Hmm. Seven minutes forty-one. Blue team is struggling a little bit here, but again, red team. We're not seeing that many engineering engineers. Uh, oh dear! I drank all my vodka. Now. Why for the love of God are there so many crits? <laughs> now it looks like Red Team's doing nicely for them. Lovely stab from Science gets rid of Pop Ponky. That explosion noise is very worrying for me. Six minutes forty two. 
Love <laughs> individual room once more destroyed by a crit rocket. A lot of people, the first thing people complain about is the ammo and health locations. But apparently that's the thing that's making sure they lose here. Pain Train will hopefully join up a bit later. He came up one for one day to have a lot of fun and games. I'd love to see him play short stuff and just shove something into a landmine. That'd be hilarious. And did you double kill Ortark? Or something. Or did Ortark get killed the first time and then the trap didn't work? <laughs> now, 5 minutes 37 and Red Team are holding for the moment. They're actually kind of keeping hold of certain locations. Unlucky, don't worry, be ferret. I think that is a. Uh, who is that? I don't know. In any case, let's get back to the game. Blue team is struggling a lot, a lot harder this time. Red team is beginning to learn how to play this. Now, we are seeing a couple of centuries here. Now, I think it's more the fact that Count Second knowing where to go just can be a really massive help in terms of you know, where to go into a map. Actually, just not damn being able to navigate the sheer bloody thing. I mean, why doesn't this game work? Why are the flags solid? Well, flags are solid, aren't they? They're made of a solid material. Should be fine, then. To be honest, the, uh, the giant poles offer stiff resistance. And okay, so it looks like oh, so close. Extreme FT nearly had the car up there. It's going to require a little charge or a little nudge from. Oh god, it requires the tiniest of nudges now. Could you please defend me a teeny bit? Extreme FT, oh, that should have been M2 there, push them away. And, oh, there goes the medic as well. It's just the amount of guys hiding behind blue cart is immense at the moment. Underrate Scrape that is just defending like a champ at the moment. Zyron trying to move in, nope, not having it. Red team is, stay on the cart, boys. I mean, that's not moving right now. Oh dear, Scrape is just holding that right now. There goes the Fidula Bomb again, running straight into bullets. He is really destroying everything in existence at the moment. Zydran's trying to get in there. Scrape is going to be on carrying the team in his ability to stand near a cart. Not even Spires can get to him. However, though, I think Blue Team just bum rushed the entire point with all their mass, and they do manage to take it. Now, looks like Red Team are playing a bit more defense in depth here, although Burning Out is racking up the cash. Oh my god, he's killing everything off at the moment. Until suddenly a counter sniper takes him down. Now, it's up from Zydran. Silence there, taking out a sentry. Now, Blue Team will try and push that thing over. They went for five minutes, not entirely enough time. They can do it. Pinky there, defending like a champ. Dies horribly. 
Dr. Dwevy there pushing in nicely as well. Blue team is trying to get around red team. Oh god, Zydran surprised by the Commando Heavy and dominated. Oh, and he ended up moving in there, moving in around the side, trying to counter Blue's, uh... <laughs> Paradox is fucking psychic. <laughs> now, in any case, Blue Car is getting close. My hands are freezing up from the sheer amount of cold. Now, is this possible to win? <sighs> now, in any case, I keep saying that. Oh dear. Try to find things to say right now. Four minutes on the clock. But one thing I'm saying with the map, though, is that it's got a nice wide latitude to work with. Nice, big, juicy, fulsome flanks. Um, And Blue Team making it. And so Autox going over. Will he be found out by Peridot? No, just Endless Sky. Unlikely, but I'm not saying impossible, Peridot. That cart is backing up the hill. People are trying to get to the car. Extreme FT's on it now. Nicely done. And the car is on the move. Now, okay, there it goes. Can oh, lovely defense there from Deep Throat Monkey. The car is close. The sentry is down. Is Dr. Dwebby going to be able to do it? Can Blue Team get a... Uh Teleporter up for that because that will really help right now. And Dr. Dwevy, come on, the cart is there, just push it over, guys. There you go, seven minutes on the clock. Down to the final point. Now, no one new unlocks here, so what root blue team have to do is get the teleporters up as fast as they can. I'm tired as fuck. Really? Is this map that tiring? Oh, work. Right, I get you. I wish I had work. I should have work by now, but due to references. Yeah. And who's the, who's the mystery sniper trying to save everything? So where's Peridot gone as well? Blue team is eventually moving up, but they do need to get their teleporters in place. Hold up. Hina, are you in the back end bullsh doing bullshit with teleporters? Nice work from science there. Just clobbers Hina before she can get into it. too much trouble. Red team coming right around the side there. They're really using that staircase at the moment. Now, blue team is struggling to really grant, get an area. Now, the thing is, Nez Flint's got something going here. Blue team need to hold Nez Flint's position. There's monkey bone. I can't believe it. There goes Nyx. Can he break it in? Oh boy. Zydran and Nyx. Getting in there. They're really trying to hold it that sentry. Blue team is doing a fantastic job here. Thing is, that sentry is constantly pumping out troops. They just gotta radiate out from that area and make sure nobody gets around them. 
The problem is that blue team is not holding their central left flanks. They're holding the simply just the right flank at the moment. And it's problematic. Thing is, red team's not being pushed back enough yet. They're not dying in high enough casualties to really warrant um, anything. Although Extreme FT though is uh, causing us some concern. Because, um, yes. Well, there he goes at last, but that was quite the push up there. I mean, uh, Red Team didn't really notice that until it was a bit late. And the blue team can. They're going to try and push up the right hand side. If they can do that, if they can get him right down there, they can possibly start spawn camping Red Team. The other problem they have right now, though, is uh, sentries and the main car area. It's four minutes on the clock right here. And this area seems to be conversely a lot harder to defend than the others. Well, a lot easier to defend than the others right now. But it's partially because, though, Red Team are doing a fantastic job of countering that top area. Pinky, they're trying to get the saps in, but nothing doing. But what is the problem right now, though, is we are seeing... Um, Oh, there goes a uh, scrape in there. Is he going to hold it out? Oh, God. Oh, God. Autark. Peridot in the... No! No! Science gets put Ponky before he can get a... Uh, what was it? A uh, taunt kill off. Oh, that was so close. Blue team are hanging on though. Monkey Bono goes down the hole. Nope, no crits for you. This is a very, very tenuous game here from Blue team. The thing is, what do they need? Well, they only got one medic, which isn't helping. This is becoming a common problem with Blue teams at the moment. They don't seem to want to invest in healthcare. <laughs> Thought is fantastic at the moment. Now, blue team is having to really contend with that like, red team counter attacking them. Oh god, and Nix there is just firing everything off. Zydra in there, oh god, no, and that's it, the dream is over. Red team have taken the teleport room. They did a fantastic job just running into that. Blue team, for some reason, just could not push out properly. Um, and that might have called the game for them there. <laughs> Can engineers just get fired and make our jobs easier? You need the engineers! You need them to get into the, get you guys to the front a lot quicker. Um, the problem is, is that the rest of the team aren't coping. Six seconds left. This is not looking good here. Blue team needs to pull off a Australian Christmas miracle here, if they can. Red has too many NGs. They have two NGs. Three, actually. Yeah, three NGs. But that's not the problem here. The sentries are going down, though. 26 seconds. Can blue team... Okay. Individual um, is there. He's trying to push the cart in. Blue team needs to get on the cart and push it. There's nothing else left for this now. Okay. Can they do it? You've got to stay on the cart now. Sheer freaking overtime. Zydra in it. Horribly clobbered. Assuming direct control. Trying to get in the situation here. Suicidal cunt holding the car. I don't think there's anybody left. Individual Bulam there is trying to get onto it as well. But no, I think red team just keeps that. Nicely done, red team.
any case, guys, thank you very much for today. But I've had all the time we have for now. It's been it's been a long edition. I thought it was an okay little game, nice little preview. I like the landmines. Um, but yeah, maybe perhaps that is a thing. I think he will take a lot of your suggestions to mind. Um, but yeah, now any case though, I think you know overall it was a good little test. Um, we should hopefully see you know, an sort of alpha out, maybe a beta coming out in the few in in a, in a while or so. But yeah. Also, by the way, um, where is he? Deep Fried Monkey gets the crown today with seven doms, and is sitting on the throne as well. Thank, nicely done from him. Anyways, thank you very much. I'll see you guys later. Bye.